afternoon those are online can you hear me can you hear me those are online good afternoon sir yes, yes sir i can hear you thank you yeah are you able to see the screen i am sharing a pdf file is it visible to you yes, those sir. are online okay. yes sir all right <clears throat> so i hope you are all fine doing well last 3 weeks we have not seen no 3 3 4 weeks 3 3 three weeks we did not see okay so any doubt before we start today's class from the previous day's class any doubt anything you would like to say or you would like to ask anybody yeah you asked me in the money no yeah regarding assignment one of your friends is asking how do we write a report okay anything else it's nothing actually uh, you are doing your work of analy analyzing the financial statement of two companies for a year whatever you have done you are going to write as a report normally it consists of an introduction okay it consists of introduction then meaning of financial statement analysis meaning definition of financial statement analysis and then tools for financial statement analysis tools tools for financial statement analysis tools means tools means what anybody yeah tools for financial statement analysis and then you have to write about ratio analysis ratio analysis next one is ratio analysis then you write about the company selected companies selected companies selected what company you have to select any criteria same industry two companies doing any manufacturing or trading business avoid taking some specialized companies software companies banking companies education companies broking companies nbfcs take normal manufacturing or trading companies listed companies in india indian companies two no two companies two companies then write about these two companies for a page or a paragraph brief about these two companies companies selected a limited b limited write some detail about the company after that the financial statement of the two companies you have to produce there financial statement financial statement of a limited financial statement of b limited profit and loss account and balance sheet of these two companies you have to reproduce there what you are collecting from there your voice is not audible no voice is not audible now now it is okay i think maybe it just moved maybe okay, now okay. yeah so you have to give the data in the statement format image format if you give it uh, sorry sir we have to take two companies yes madam and make the comparison we have to create the financial statement of the two companies hmm. we have to give a 
brief uh, write up about the two companies yes. that is what i could hear yes sir yes 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 okay okay sir then analysis of financial statement of the two companies then you can give the result of that analysis in a table serial number name of the ratios company a company b like that you can give a table next comparison any inference is there conclusion is there last then reference so this sir your voice is breaking we are not able to hear you really for others is it the problem for everybody yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay how do we address this Hmm. Yeah, that's what ratio analysis. Now we are doing that. Madam, am I audible now? Yes, sir. Okay. So then, last inference or conclusion, then reference. That's all. This is the subtitle of the report. You can add or you can modify. This is what uh, normally should be there. Okay. Have we lost you again? Yes, madam. We you lost me again. I'm so sorry. I'll check it with the office. Good. Yes, sir. It's the same issue again, sir. Maybe some some other day. It is not tenth May. The yeah, LMS it is showing like that. I'll check. Tenth May is tomorrow, no? Day after tomorrow. But I think we'll just give it long back. If you're ready, submit it. Wait, there is a problem. They're telling in voice. I'll check it. Sir, uh, we can't hear you, sir. Guys, uh, can you please confirm? Uh, like, I'm the only one who's facing. Like, I'm not hearing something. 
No, we are not able to hear. Yes. No, no, no. You all told so, that uh, you are not able to hear us properly. No, sir. We are uh, working on it. Just a minute. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Now we are able to hear me, no? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Good. Are able to see the screen? Yes. The file I'm sharing with you. PDF file. Yes, sir. Marginal costing. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So we were talking about the uh, assignment report. There is a word in the assignment. You have to prepare a report. For that, I just told you what are the subheadings should be there. Sir, if you can repeat it, it would be great because we could not hear you properly. We'll repeat. Yes, sir. Right. So the introduction should be the first one. Second one should be meaning, then definition of financial statement analysis, then tools for financial statement analysis. Next one is ratio analysis. Next one is company chosen for the assignment. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, thank sir. you. Sir, what introduction to be given? What introduction to be given? Introduction to the assignment to be given. Madam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, got it. Yeah. Introduction to the so, sir, you're, you're, ask, you're, you're talking about the tools. So are you talking about uh, including all the uh, analysis like uh, solvency ratio, all four kinds of ratios we have to show in our analysis in the report? Or what, what tools we have to use? What tools you have to use? Are, we, are you talking about the ratio analysis, solvency, uh, profitability? Are you talking about that? What else is there? Okay, sir. No, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm asking about the other things only. You are right, actually. But what else is there? Please tell me. Tools for financial statement analysis, what you have to write? That's a question now. What should you write? Tools for analysis, tools for financial statement analysis. What should you write there? Anybody? Anybody? What should we write under the heading called tools for financial statement analysis? Some of you there online, please reply. Please, all of you understand. Yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Something somebody is about to say. Sir, under tools of financial statement analysis, you were telling. Hmm. What should you write? Yes, sir. Anybody? Formula, sir. Formula, For sir. For the financial okay. ratios. OK. Anybody? I think we are doing our assignment right now. Yeah, you to give to me only. All of you should give sacrifice five it. marks in favor of me. We will take your assignment only for 25 marks. Yeah, tools you have right. That's it. Uh, tools you have to mention. Are, you, are we poor that much? Please Google it. Please work on that. One of the tools is ratio analysis. Okay, introduction, meaning, definition, then tools for financial statement analysis. Then one of the tools you are taking that is ratio analysis. Next heading is ratio analysis. You are explaining what is ratio analysis, what are the different types of ratios are there, everything you are writing there. And then you are writing about companies chosen. First you write company chosen, what A, B, then write about A, write about B. Hmm? After that, the data of the two companies, you have to write it there, the question. 
that's not a question actually the question is that the data only no yeah in exam will give you but in this assignment you are only taking from the companies okay after that you are analyzing the table you are giving the, the various ratios what you are calculating calculation of various ratios you are giving in a table format serial number name of the ratios for company a for company b okay after that you are comparing what is there in this table you are writing in that sentence comparing these two companies okay and then you are writing some conclusion or inference then reference is it clear anybody has any more doubt yes sir it's clear yeah so assignment is for only 25 marks ah because i have only told everything na yeah you asked the question how to write a report that was a question and that girl was asking what should be written in introduction and again one more person is asking what should be written in tools for analysis so instead of googling it you are making you making myself so, as point of contact so many okay. of us are not from accounting background we have not studied accounts at all yeah but report writing is common no not writing not studying accounts okay we are studying accounts but report report writing is common okay that apart okay we'll that and uh, so prepare in this format yeah. submit it in time sari is telling it is 10th is given in the lms i'll check with the office okay if there is any real cut off date some with late or something is there or this is the only one i'll check and update with you in the whatsapp group okay but it was given long back uh, by this time you would have started at least but if you are not done please start it today and try to finish it in time with our one or two days extension or something what they are giving you in the office okay i don't think it will be tomorrow that up all right will be having some more time i'll check it okay yes sir from that the date of giving you assignment one month they are telling i think i have given you long back from that date it might have counted one month or 30 days that's why it is showing 10th okay i'll check it but you don't worry about that you just start doing it okay anything else regarding the assignment if you are not from accounting background that is not a problem but still how many days we are going to tell that we are not from accounting background please start doing something i am not telling to that uh, student it's for everybody if you are not really from accounting background then you have to work more that's what okay. you can fill the gap okay that's how you can fill the gap otherwise that gap will continue okay that are the gap will be widening we don't want to do that please start reading and write i mean understanding the concept fine so in the last class what you discussed what was the topic we discussed in the last class ratio analysis costing i don't think so costing yeah see one 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 full chapter you are forgetting last class we discussed about costing cost accounting okay so to continue with that to continue with that we are going to the next element called marginal costing okay i just recall it with one or two minutes what we have done in the previous class normally in academics we classify the entire accounting aspects entire accounting procedures into three categories one is financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting financial accounting talks about recording of transaction finding out the financial result or finding out the financial position of a company okay wherein we have journal ledger trial balance profit and loss account and balance sheet anything about these things are called as financial accounting analyzing the financial statement is called as management accounting the tools trend analysis ratio analysis percentage analysis common size statement comparative statement cash flow statement fund flow statement etc etc all these things are tools for financial statement analysis okay what are the tools available learning about those tools and how to apply those tools what we are going to do with the result of such tools is about management accounting it helps the management to take some decisions okay and third aspect of accounting is cost accounting that helps us in achieving two objective one is 
to ascertain the cost of a product or service another one is to control the cost of product or service okay last week i mean previous class we discussed about the uh, one of the basic methods available for ascertainment of cost for controlling we have set up tools and techniques to ascertain we have some methods there are so many methods job costing batch costing service costing transport costing operating costing operation costing process costing uniform costing etc etc we are these are all the called as methods of costing meaning how do we ascertain the value i mean how do we ascertain the cost of a product or service on the other hand we have some tools and techniques which are available for us to have a control over the cost what are those tools marginal costing standard costing abc costing variance analysis etc okay in these two groups one one we are going to study one we already studied about uniform costing last week i mean previous week another group control over the cost out of that we are going to study only one that is marginal cost or marginal costing okay so that's what we are going to study today marginal costing okay so before we start this i just ask a question anybody have any guess about what is the meaning of marginal forget about accounting what do you mean by Profit. marginal sorry sir and sorry percent of profit you are not clear uh, it is an variable cost uh, which will be distributed into the fixed cost i told you forget about accounting and i was asking you what do you mean by just marginal profit sir margin can be called profit is it marginal and margin both are one and the same margin can be interchangeably used for profit margin how much margin you have in this 20% margin i have in this i can say but marginal is different from margin what is marginal english word marginal refers to just okay getting close to is nearby close okay one of your friends in the classroom is telling it may be referring to close to something or near to something okay anybody marginal anybody okay marginal here refers to incremental extra additional in addition to say for example come to accounting now i am producing 100 units say for example this remote control i am producing 100 in a day in my factory okay the total cost to manufacture this 100 remote control is equal to 10000 10000 suppose i am going to produce one more unit one more quantity one more remote control that means 101st remote control okay i am going to produce if i produce one more additional unit in addition to the existing unit of 100 unit what will be the change in my total cost that difference is called as marginal cost I repeat again there is an existing production 100 units are produced every day the total cost of production for 100 units are 10000 rupees i want to increase my production from 100 to 101 now what will be the total cost for 101 units the difference between the cost of 101 units and the cost of 100 units can be termed as marginal cost are you getting my point okay say for example 10000 is the total cost if i produce one more unit it becomes 10100 or 10010 or 10050 in all these cases the difference between 10010 and 10000 10100 and 10000 10050 and 10000 that 50 10 and 100 are called as marginal cost why this to be studied 
why marginal costing is important for us as a manager it's very simple it helps us in finding out the break even point have you heard about break even point break even point what do you mean by break even point any guesses about break even point any no. guess definitely in our life we might have heard about this concept called break even earning, earning yeah. and cost uh, when it meets uh, together to yes sir earning and cost earning at earning and whatever the expenses uh, if it is meeting or uh, when it meets together it will be okay even. earning is equal to cost expenses so that that level or that 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 kind of situation is called as break even break even okay anybody else in addition to this no loss no gain no loss that means no gain whatever revenue and cost are equal ah uh, that's what he was telling yeah fine just little more refined way no loss no gain situation the total revenue is equal to total cost total cost okay fine very good anybody else okay why do we find out this break even point why do i know where i am not having profit and also not having loss if i if i say not pro, no profit no loss what is the profit profit is equal to zero that's what the other gentleman was telling total cost is exactly equal to total total cost is exactly equal to total revenue revenue total cost is equal to total revenue, revenue. okay if, if that is the case profit is equal to zero or loss is equal to zero zero why do i find out this why do i know my break even point so we should know that uh, if you find out the break even point you will know about what is your uh, uh, cost uh, or expenses uh, how uh, how can be you know make the profit by increasing revenue or reducing the cost maybe okay. to find out the way to make the profit okay anybody else why do we know about the break even point suppose you are doing a business you are selling some product or manufacturing and selling some product you should know at what level you should minimum operate at what level you have to operate at the lowest situation you should not come down from that level if you come down from that level it is leading you to incur loss so at least you have to operate in that level so that your minimum expenditure is taken care of. your expenditure is taken care of by your sales okay so whatever is going to come afterwards after the break even point is achieved that is going to uh, give to profit that is going to lead profit okay so that is the concept here so that we have to i mean because of that we have to identify what is marginal cost okay before we going to break even point according to marginal costing look at this slide marginal costing is a costing technique wherein the marginal cost otherwise you can call it as variable cost i'll tell you what is variable cost in a while okay now you remember the word marginal cost so marginal costing is a costing technique through which the variable cost or the marginal cost is charged to the unit of cost while the fixed cost for the period is completely written off against the contribution there are some technical words one is marginal cost otherwise it can be called as variable cost please understand variable cost marginal cost incremental cost these three are referring to the same concept okay i'll explain to you what it is okay this is a technique using this variable cost we are finding out the relationship between the variable cost and sales and profit and also if you have variable cost there is another cost called fixed cost okay i'll explain with another example suppose you are producing some units in your business the rent paid for the place where you are producing your product is not changing according to your so radio connected to us Sorry, I'm muting. Okay. Again, starting. 
other class okay so sorry okay listen uh, we classify the cost into three category variable cost fixed cost and semi variable cost what is variable cost anybody any idea about variable cost we remember last class i mean last week or in the last session we discussed about cost sheet we primarily classified the cost into two category direct cost indirect cost all direct costs are called as variable cost all indirect cost may be either semi variable or semi variable or fixed okay then what is variable cost variable cost is a cost which varies according to the volume of production what do we mean by volume of production if you increase the number of units produced the cost of certain things will increase increase means i'm not talking about the market price price is nothing but something which is available in the market i'm not talking about that of course the price is the cost for me but the price will increase or decrease because of the demand and supply forces in the market i am not talking about that i am talking about how that product is costing for me how much that product is costing for me example you take construction industry if i want to construct a residential house okay 30 40 site if i want to construct one house suppose in that area one square feet is 10000 rupees 10000 okay how much is the cost of the land to construct one house what is the cost of the land to construct one house i given you the input right what is the dimension of the property i want to construct 30 40 30 by 40 okay what is the unit cost there one square feet is costing rupees 10000 then what will be the cost of the land to construct one house 1 crore 20 lakhs is the cost suppose i am a builder i want to construct two houses two independent houses then what will be the cost of the land now same how much 2 crore 40 lakhs if i want to construct three house how much will be the cost of the land 3 crore 60 lakhs so cost of the land is called as variable cost in the construction industry what is the land for the construction industry land is the raw material for the construction industry so raw material cost is the variable cost suppose i want to construct only in 6 600 square feet that time my cost is reducing to 60 lakhs okay so if cost is like this for your product that cost is called as variable cost variable cost is one which varies according to the volume of production suppose a water bottle we are all having water bottle right now in front of you water bottle for how much you are buying water bottle half liter water bottle is equal to 10 rupees in this 10 rupee what and all is included you are paying 10 rupees to the uh, cafeteria and you are buying this water bottle for that boy for that cafeteria this 10 rupee is going to so many places okay what this 10 rupee includes first of all profit for him first he won't supply this without any profit is he is bringing this he is stocking it and he is waiting for you to come and you are going and buying it he is supplying it in time he is making some profit so his profit is going to the first element out of this 10 rupee for us if you pay 10 rupee we are paying at least 1 rupee to him assume 1 rupee is profit remaining 9 rupee maybe is cost what is the cost he might have bought he is not a manufacturer he is not a manufacturer of that bottle he is just buying from somebody else the water and i mean the bisleri companies okay so he might have bought it for 7 rupee and he is he is putting in refrigerator or he is stocking it some place 
for that is charging some overheads, two rupees. So seven plus two plus one is equal to 10 rupee that is coming to us. Okay, now take the example of the manufacturer, one who is going to give this bottle for the stockist at the rate of seven rupee. Seven rupee includes, can you imagine what are the seven rupees can include? The container, the container, okay, and then the content, the water. The water and the container is an example for variable cost. Suppose assume that container is one rupee. Just an assumption, the container is one rupee. To manufacture thousand water bottle, how much I have to spend in terms of that container? 10,000 rupees, thousand rupees. If I want to manufacture one lakh unit of water bottle, I have to spend one lakh rupee in terms of that container bottle, empty bottle. Suppose the content, the water, they are, they are filling the water, right? They are doing some process. They're getting the groundwater or they're getting water from outside and they're processing it and they're filling the bottle in this. Okay, suppose that water, one half liter water, water, only just water is costing him three rupees. To manufacture one water bottle, he has to spend three rupees in terms of water. If he wants to manufacture one lakh unit, how much amount he has to, he has to spend for water? Nine lakhs, three lakhs into three, nine lakhs. Suppose I'm manufacturing only 100 units. How much I have to spend? 300. So that's now we come to the sentence what I told. Variable cost is a cost which varies according to the volume of production. Volume of production. Suppose you are having office or a factory in which you are manufacturing this water bottle. You are, you are producing this, you are filling this water bottle. Okay. There you are having a supervisor or there you are having a piece of, I mean, the building in that you are doing this process. For the building, you are paying a rent of 10,000 rupees. Now, one water bottle you are producing, how much rent you have to pay? You are producing one lakh water bottle in a day. How much rent you have to pay? Same rent. So that is what we call it as fixed cost. The cost which does not vary according to the level of operation, according to the volume of product, volume of production, volume of operation. Those costs is called as fixed cost. And there are some costs which remains fixed for some level of activity. After that, it will increase. Example, mobile bill, data, mobile data, or you can have electricity bill, up to 100 units, fixed charge. 100 to 500, this is the rate. Above 500 to 1000, this is the rate. 1000 above, this is the rate. So your usage increases, the rate is also increasing. But up to certain level, it remains constant. So that is called semi-variable expenses. Okay, having understood this variable, semi-variable and fixed cost, we'll have to understand what is the marginal costing. Now look at the sentence. Any doubt in this classification of fixed cost, variable cost, and semi-variable cost? Don't confuse with the price increase. So today, one water bottle is one rupee, empty bottle. Tomorrow, it is 1.10 paisa. That 10 paisa is increasing, sir. That is variable cost. No. That time also, that 1.1 only I will take into consideration to find out my total cost. If I want to produce one bottle, 1.1 rupee I am spending. If I'm producing two bottles, I have to spend 2.2 rupees. 2.2 is my variable cost. 1.1 is my variable cost. The bottle cost is my variable cost. How much ever it may be, that is depending upon the market, demand and supply. Okay, any doubt in the variable cost, fixed cost and semi-variable cost? Okay, if you don't have, let us come to the understanding of marginal costing. Look at this now. Marginal costing is a technique which is which is telling us to calculate the cost of a unit of product by just charging the variable cost, but not the fixed cost. Fixed cost is always there. Now come to the first example, what I told you. Marginal cost is nothing but the incremental cost I told you. To produce 1,000 unit, if my expenditure is 10,000, 
if i want to produce one more unit what is going to be my expenditure that one more unit how much is going to be my cost that includes only my variable cost fixed cost already covered by my existing product that is what we call it as technique of marginal costing forget about fixed cost charge only variable cost to the product why i am telling forget about fixed cost fixed cost are always going to be there if you produce some number of units that itself will cover the fixed cost beyond that if you are able to produce some units that units are free from fixed cost because already the units have covered up okay i'll take another example fixed cost per unit fixed cost per unit changes but fixed cost in total remains constant same example i am paying 1000 rupees rent for my premises to produce some material if i produce 1000 unit in the premises what is the per unit fixed cost how much i have to charge for one unit in terms of fixed cost total rent is how much total rent is rent paid for the premises is 1000 how many units i am producing 1000 units so what is the per unit cost of the rent 1 rupee suppose if i am producing 2000 units in the same premises now what is the cost of rent for one unit 50 paisa if i produce 4000 units what is the rent per unit 25 paisa are you getting my point so in this manner fixed cost per unit changes how it is changing if number of units are increasing fixed cost per unit is decreasing in our example 1 rupee 50 paisa then 25 paisa so there is a indirect i mean there is a indirect proportion opposite relationship between the total i mean fixed cost and volume of production if you produce more and more volume your fixed cost per unit reduces but fixed cost in total remains constant this also has some limitation suppose the building is having a capacity of producing maximum 20000 units can you produce 25000 units in same building no so fixed cost remains constant up to the 100% level of operation if you reach the 100% level say for example in this classroom this auditor this this seminar hall is having 60 seat up to 60 seat the fixed cost remains constant suppose 6000 rupees is the rent for this room 60 students are attending the class what is the rent per student how many students are attending what is the rent of the room 6000 6000 by 60 is equal to computer super computer is required how much anybody from online Anybody from online? Five hundred. Your supercomputer to be repaired. How much? How much, brother? Ten rupee. How many students are attending? Per student, how much? Huh? Anybody from online? Anybody is there online? I am audible to you. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yeah. How much is the rent for one student? 100 rupees if the venue is for 6000 rupees and 100 students are i mean 60 students are occupying that venue so one student cost is rent cost is 100 rupees suppose another day only one student is coming we are lucky to at least we have five students here only one student is coming what is the unit cost now 6000 6000 itself is to be borne by that particular individual gentleman Okay, six thousand. So fixed cost in total remains constant. The six thousand remains constant, but fixed cost per unit reduces when the number of unit is produced more and more. Okay, but it cannot increase beyond certain level. That level is called hundred percent capacity. Suppose in this room is having only sixty seat. If I get admission for seventy, I can't 
accommodate 70 students in the same class. I have to hire another class by paying another 6,000 or a smaller room, just some lesser rent. So this is called relationship between fixed cost and per unit cost. Okay, come to the uh, uh, variable cost. Variable cost per unit remains constant. Fixed cost per unit varies. But variable cost per unit remains constant. To produce one water bottle, I need only one water bottle, empty water bottle, to fill the water. One water bottle cost is one rupee. Empty water bottle is one rupee. If I produce one unit, I need to spend only one rupee in terms of container. If I am producing two units, I have to spend two rupees in terms of container. So when the volume of production increases, the variable cost in total increases. But variable cost per unit remains always constant. Unless otherwise the market is increasing the content of, the, I mean, price of the content, container. Okay, so now according to marginal costing, you don't worry about the fixed cost because fixed cost is taken care of by some of the units in the beginning. Beyond that level, if you produce, say for example, the example of the same one, 6,000 is the capacity, I mean, the rent of the room. If I take 60 student by charging 10 rupee per student, I mean 100 rupees per student as a rent in my total pricing of the education degree or some course or a program, okay. now. If I take 60 students, suppose the capacity is 100, 61st student is coming now. For him, I need not to charge this rent, rent cost. But we do, we, we do, we, we do charge. But that is giving me my profit. Okay, this concept is being understood from this particular concept called marginal costing. So don't worry about the fixed cost. Okay, fixed cost for the period completely turn off against the Contribution. Why are introducing a concept called contribution? What is contribution? Look at this given example here. Variable cost per unit is 25 rupee. Okay. The cost of 10,000 unit will be equal to 2,50,000. Variable cost per unit to manufacture a particular unit of product. I am spending so many things labor, material, expense, etc., etc. But all those things put together in the nature of variability, it is amounting to 25 rupees, 25 rupees. Say for example, the water bottle, container, water, put together is equal to 25. Assume it is for five liter water bottle, 25 rupees. Okay, next, the fixed cost. Fixed cost means the room rent, supervisor salary, etc. Irrespective of your water bottle production, we have to spend that. Okay, that is equal to one lakh. So what is the total cost now? 25 rupees per unit multiplied by number of units produced. Number of units produced is 10,000. So total variable cost is 250,000 to produce 10,000 units. Same time, the company has to spend some 1 lakh rupee irrespective of the volume of production. That is called fixed cost. So total cost will be equal to 350,000 because fixed cost is 1 lakh, variable cost is 250,000. So total cost is going to be 3 lakh. 50,000. Suppose I am going to produce one more unit from 10,000 to one more unit I'm increasing. One more unit I'm going to produce. What will be the extra cost I have to spend now? Only variable cost I have to spend because already fixed cost already taken into account. Okay, 25 rupees I have to spend. So it becomes 3,50,025. This 25 is called as marginal cost, otherwise called as variable cost or we can call it as incremental cost, additional cost, okay. Now look at this sentence given here. There's a word called contribution. What is contribution? Contribution is nothing but sales minus variable cost, selling price minus variable cost is equal to contribution. If you minus fixed cost from contribution, you are going to get Sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. I'm introducing a term here, contribution. Contribution is nothing but selling price of one unit 
in my example take for example in this question 40 rupees assume 40 rupees is the selling price per unit selling price per unit is 40 rupees what is the variable cost for one unit what is the variable cost for one unit 25 rupees so sales price minus variable cost is equal to contribution what is the contribution in this case for one unit how much how much 25 how oh, it is 25 rupees what is contribution excess of selling price over variable cost please understand the logic excess of selling price over variable cost or marginal cost or incremental cost or additional cost is called as contribution get the word contribution it is area contribution Finally, I am telling you, contribution is equal to that's it. Selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Otherwise, contribution is equal to sales total minus variable cost in total. You will get the total contribution. First one I told you, contribution per unit. Excess of selling price per unit over the variable cost per unit is called as clear. Okay. Now we have taken care only variable cost so far. The contribution is the outcome by comparing the variable cost with selling price. Okay. Which cost is left out? Which cost left out? Basically, profit is equal to forget about the marginal cost. Come to your financial accounting or general. I mean, profit is equal to income minus expenditure. Okay, that expenditure may be of fixed cost, variable cost. Now, in our marginal costing, contribution is considered only which expenditure, which cost. Contribution is considered only which cost? Variable cost. Which cost is left out and unconsidered? Fixed cost. Fixed cost. If you minus fixed cost from contribution, what you will get? Sir, profit is equal to income minus expenditure, sir. Or revenue minus cost. That cost can be divided into two variable and fixed. Already I minus my variable cost from sales. The result I term it as contribution. How do you get profit now? How do you calculate profit now? Which cost is not considered so far? Fixed cost. So how do you get profit now? Anybody from online? How do I get profit? How do I calculate profit? Contribution minus fixed cost. Contribution minus fixed. Simple, you are not able to understand. I mean, confusing like that. Total cost minus from sales is equal to what? Total cost minus from selling price is equal to what? Profit. 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 This is known to everybody. This is what we discussed from the beginning. Okay. In addition to that, I'm introduced that I'm dividing the cost into two. A minus B is equal to C. Known that B I am just dividing into two. B1 and B2. A minus B1 is equal to C1 I am telling. Contribution. Then contribution minus B2 is equal to C. That is profit. Still, still more confusing. Total cost minus from selling price equal to profit. Clear? Now, sales minus variable cost equal to contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit. That's all. Look at this. Next one. That has been explained here. So this is what we call it as marginal costing technique or income statement under marginal costing. 
okay why do we need marginal costing before that statement i'll tell you why do we need marginal costing we need marginal costing for this purpose one is variable cost per unit remains constant any increase or decrease in production changes the total cost of output okay total cost of output is changing because of the change in the increase or decrease in the volume of production that changes only because of variable cost not because of the fixed cost you know some of the organization are able to give the product for lesser price than that of other competitor why they are producing so many units scale of large scale economy fixed cost for them per unit remains lesser fixed cost per unit reduces if you produce more number of units that's why second point total fixed cost remains unchanged total fixed cost remains unchanged not per unit fixed cost okay remains unchanged up to a certain level i told you in this capacity 100 is the capacity if you increase one more seat then the fixed cost doubles or changes it won't remain constant it remains constant only up to the maximum level of production 100% and does not vary with increase or decrease in production please understand fixed cost will never vary will fixed cost in total will never vary according to the volume of production four students coming and joining a program the same classroom is required or one principal is required a building is required the fixed cost remains constant okay party students also say same time okay next fixed expenses exclude from the total cost in marginal costing technique just now we discussed now we have to exclude the fixed cost from the total cost we consider only variable cost as cost because fixed cost is always going to be there okay and it provides the same cost per unit up to a certain level of production after that it will also change so this is the uh, need for marginal costing why do we study marginal costing because to understand this concept features of marginal costing it is used to know the impact of variable cost on the volume of production if i increase the number of units of produced what is going to be the increase in profit if i increase 5 units if i increase 50% what is the change in the profit of the company then break even analysis is possible and it can be done as an integral part of this uh, marginal costing okay break even analysis what is break even point we can understand and the contribution of each product or department is a foundation to know the profitability of the product contribution what is contribution i told you contribution is equal to sales minus variable cost in total you take or per unit you take no problem okay if you take in total you have to say contribution in total if you take per unit selling price you have to say contribution per unit 40 rupees minus 25 15 is the contribution okay next marginal costing is the base of valuation of stock of finished product or work in progress we can't just take all the cost together we take only variable cost so like this another one fixed cost is recovered from contribution and variable cost is charged to production all fixed cost is going to be minus from contribution say for another example you have five departments five departments product a b c d and e five departments are there okay fixed cost has to be charged for all these five departments so how much you are getting a contribution from this five department total contribution of all the departments minus fixed cost will be resulting in contribution of all the departments minus fixed cost of the company is equal to profit of the company okay good so next how do we ascertain the profit or loss under marginal costing technique look at this contribution is equal to selling price per unit minus marginal cost or variable cost per unit all of you have to write down this formula contribution is equal to selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit that unit can be anything helmet water bottle chair mobile phone or any product okay then if that is the case profit is equal to just now we discussed no contribution in total please understand contribution in total minus 
ఫిక్స్డ్ కాస్ట్ ఇన్ టోటల్ ఫిక్స్డ్ కాస్ట్ ఇన్ టోటల్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ ప్రాఫిట్ సపోజ్ ఫిక్స్డ్ కాస్ట్ ఈస్ టెన్ ల్యాక్ కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ నైన్ ల్యాక్ then what you will be calling that difference contribution is 9 lakh fixed cost is 10 lakhs loss or profit is equal to minus 1 lakh loss if that is the case can we say contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit or fixed cost minus loss can we say profit is equal to contribution minus fixed cost at the same time contribution can be equal to fixed cost plus profit look at the statement forget about the number there just look at the statement sales is given there sales minus variable cost look at the sales minus variable cost variable cost is given detail okay so variable cost total is 15 lakh 50000 sales was 25 lakhs so the difference between sales and variable cost total is equal to contribution it is given there contribution from contribution if you minus the, the fixed cost you will get profit okay suppose contribution is 100 rupee profit is 40 rupee i repeat again contribution is 100 profit is 40 what will be the fixed cost 60 60 very good 60 is the fixed cost profit is 30 profit is 30 fixed cost is 60 what will be the contribution 90 okay contribution is 100 variable cost is 60 what will be the sales tell me the answer 160 sorry 160 160 rupees is the sales okay sales is 200 contribution is 150 what is the variable cost 50 sales is 200 variable cost is 120 what should be the contribution 80, 80. okay loss of a company is 20 loss loss is 20 loss is 20 fixed cost sorry uh, fixed cost is 100 what will be the contribution 80 so the question is wrong correct now the data given is differently given so it is not possible to find out the data is wrong okay so yeah correct okay so this is the concept of marginal costing income statement this is called income statement statement of income okay i repeat finally sales minus variable cost equal to contribution contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit okay that statement you have to remember okay now break even point okay before that there is one small question you can work out now there is a, there are some data there is a company which is producing three product a b c the sales of product a is 150000 product b is 90000 product c is 60000 variable cost 120 for product a 163000 for product b and that of c is 36000 calculate pv ratio and total profit what is pv ratio so far we did not discuss pv ratio is nothing but the relationship between contribution and sales in terms of percentage pv ratio is equal to contribution divided by sales into 100 contribution divided by sales whole thing multiplied by 100 pv ratio can be otherwise called as contribution to sales ratio contribution to sales ratio can you all calculate the contribution of this product a b and c those who are online also please take a sheet of paper and calculate the contribution of product a b c or mentally you can say what is the contribution of product a 30 30 
30,000 rupees is the contribution. What is the PV ratio? How much is the PV ratio for product A? Huh? Five. How much, sir? Five. Five. PV ratio. What is the PV ratio? How to calculate? I just told you. Contribution Point by sales. Point two hundred. Point two. Point. Point two. Point two. It is twenty percent. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Look at this. Twenty percent. Okay. Find out for B. What is the PV ratio? PV ratio for product B. For product B. Yes. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. What is the PV ratio for product C? Forty percent. Forty percent. Okay. How do you find out the profit now? Profit contribution minus fixed, fixed cost. cost. So contribution of A, contribution of B, contribution of C. We have to add. That's called total contribution minus fixed cost of the company is equal to profit of the company. Calculate it. Calculate the profit. Profit of the company. Profit. Contribution of product A, contribution of product B, contribution of product C. Add it together, and minus the minus the forty thousand five hundred. Yeah, fixed cost forty thousand five hundred. A profit is forty thousand five hundred. Yeah, profit is forty thousand five hundred because the total contribution is eighty one thousand. Eighty one thousand. Forty thousand plus twenty seven plus twenty four is equal to eighty one thousand. Fixed cost is forty thousand five hundred. So the balance is profit. That is also forty thousand five hundred. Any doubt in this? Are you able to connect that formula here? Sales minus variable cost. Is equal to contribution sales minus variable cost contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost equal to profit. PV ratio I will discuss. Contribution by sales into hundred is equal to PV ratio. Okay. Out of these three product, which product is more contributing towards the profit of the company? Which product is more contributing? Contributing more to the profit of the company. Which product? Product, product C is contributing more. If I sell for hundred rupees, product C, forty percent is going to be the contribution. But all other things are not like that. Thirty and twenty are there. Okay, so that is how we can understand the PV ratio concept. PV ratio. Higher the PV ratio, better the performance of that particular product. Okay. Next, come to the break-even analysis, or we can call it as cost volume profit analysis. Break even analysis, otherwise called as cost volume profit analysis. What do you mean by cost volume profit analysis? The analysis of the relationship between these three variables is called as CVP analysis. Cost volume. Volume means what? Number of units produced. Cost means the cost of that product. Profit means how much I'm going to get out of this product. Okay. If I increase the volume of production. If I increase the volume of production from 100 to 150, up to now I was producing 100 units. From tomorrow, today onwards, I'm going to produce 150 units. 50% increase in the manufacturing capacity. Okay, then 50% increase in the manufacturing capacity is going to result in how much increase or decrease in the 
cost definitely it is going to increase but how much the quantum 50% increase in the output will never result in 50% increase in the cost because we are going to add only variable cost fixed cost already added okay so what is the increase in the cost of production because of the increase in the volume of production so because of these two increase what is the impact of the increase of cost and volume on the profit of the company so this is going to be analyzed in a technique that technique we call it as cvp analysis otherwise we call it as break even analysis okay what is break even just now we discussed okay every business organization works to maximize its profit with the help of cvp analysis the management studies the correlation correlation between cost volume and profit increase or decrease in the cost and volume how that affects on profit of an organization okay the level of production increase or decrease how it is going to affect the profit 50% increase of output not necessarily to result in the 50% increase of profit it may be increasing more than the 50% because the cost increase only variable cost fixed cost is not increasing so that analysis okay it is concerned with the level of activity where total sales equals the cost total cost and it is called as break even point we already discussed you all told no break even point is a point at which the total sales the revenue from total sales is exactly equal to the equal to the total cost if that is the case that level suppose at the production of 5000 unit and the sale of 5000 unit my total sales is just equal to the total cost then 5000 unit is called as break even sales break even sales can be expressed in terms of unit in terms of quantity or in terms of rupee or dollar the value okay break even point can be expressed in terms of unit or it can be expressed in terms of value okay so no profit no loss cost and profit at different levels of production on cvp analysis highlights the relationship between the cost and the sales value and the profit okay how to find out break even point this is already discussed no you remember this this equations sales is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit or loss you remember i told you profit is equal to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost it is written in another way sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal to profit if you write from that side profit plus fixed expense plus variable cost is equal to sales otherwise sales minus variable cost is equal to fixed cost plus profit or loss variable sales minus variable cost is called as contribution so from contrib contribution should be equal to these two are called as contribution no sales minus vc is called contribution contribution should be equal to fixed cost plus profit or fixed cost minus loss okay the next one sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution that we already know now how do we calculate the uh, uh, break even point break even point is equal to this already we studied pv ratio is equal to contribution by sales into 100 just now we studied no pv ratio okay so break even point is equal to break even point in unit is equal to fixed cost in total divided by contribution per unit fixed cost in total divided by contribution per unit this is nothing but contribution per unit don't worry about this selling price per unit minus marginal cost per unit is equal to what we can call this contribution per unit okay that's what is written here contribution per unit okay otherwise break even point in rupee or in value break even point in rupee can be calculated by applying this formula fixed cost divided by pv ratio v is missing there pv ratio fixed cost divided by profit volume ratio pv ratio means profit volume ratio okay that will give you the break even point in rupees this will give you in rupees this will give you in units yes madam which one 
divided by per unit yeah which will be the ratio which one contribution per unit contribution per unit will be in it will be in why do you confuse madam variable cost is in value rupee selling price also will be in value rupee answer is also going to be in value or rupee which one you are asking i don't understanding this one will be in rupee say for example 40 rupees is the selling price 25 is the variable cost or marginal cost what will be the contribution what will be the contribution what i told last what the data i have given you now anybody online here people are sleeping i think at least those are online please tell me 15 sir 15 rupees is the contribution rupees is the contribution contribution 40 rupees was selling price 25 rupees was a marginal cost or variable cost so 15 will be the contribution per unit so i am not understanding what you are asking ratio or what it will be in rupees contribution will always be in value rupee or dollar whatever it is okay so break even point in value is equal to break even point in value is equal to fixed cost by pv ratio okay next suppose you want to earn a profit of some amount sir i want a profit of 1 lakh rupee what should be my sales how much amount i have to sell to earn a profit of 1 lakh rupee 2 lakh rupee or 3 lakh rupee if i want to find out it is very simple fixed cost plus how much amount profit i want i know what is my fixed cost i am estimating what profit i need both put together divided by pv ratio or contribution per unit is equal to selling price selling sales volume what i need or output what i need to sell i want to i want to know how many units should i sell how many products should i sell to earn a given amount of profit how do i find out sales to earn that given amount of profit is equal to fixed cost plus the needed amount of profit divided by pv ratio or contribution per unit okay this is nothing but pv ratio selling price per unit sorry uh, contribution per unit okay otherwise you can call it as pv ratio you can take here pv ratio also if you take pv ratio here you will get the rupee value value in i mean uh, uh, sales in value here you will get sales in unit that's all contribution if you substitute you will get in this formula these two formulas same only these two formulas are same this is given elaborate this is given only simple okay selling price minus marginal cost is equal to selling price minus marginal cost is equal to contribution so same both are same formulas this fourth both formula will give me the output to be sold in units to earn this much of profit suppose i want to know how much should be my sales value to earn a given amount of profit suppose i want 1 lakh rupee profit how much should be my sales simple to calculate fixed cost plus 1 lakh rupee total divided by pv ratio will give me the rupee sales if you don't divide by pv ratio if you divide by contribution it will give you number of output to be sold unit to be sold that's all okay so this is very very important aspect how much unit should i sell to earn a given amount of profit every everybody is interested to know so that we can fix the target for the sales department or marketing department okay the next concept is margin of safety margin of safety means by how many units you are safe or what is the excess of your actual sales over the break even sales suppose my break even unit is 10000 unit 10000 unit is my break even point i sold 15000 units 
how many units are safe for me 5000 units within 10000 unit i am getting my no profit no loss how much ever i am going to sell more than the 10000 unit is all safe for me margin of safety is nothing but excess of total sales or actual sales minus break even sales okay that's what is given here look at the formula actual sales minus break even sales otherwise margin of safety is equal to profit divided by pv ratio otherwise profit divided by contribution per unit this will give you in the units this will give you in rupee this will give you in unit okay so these are the various uh, concept of break even point after taking a break we can work out few questions on this okay this question first we'll work out in the uh, break after the break thank you see you after the break Okay, uh, am I audible to you? Those are online. Can we resume? Sure. Yes, sir. Yes. So, can we yes, calculate sir. the break-even point for the given data? Now you are seeing a uh, uh, seeing some data on the screen, right? Example. That is calculate break-even point. The data given is fixed cost two lakh fifty five fifty thousand. Variable cost rupees fifteen per unit, selling price twenty five per unit. For this data, we have to calculate the break even point. Please understand that fifteen rupee is nothing but the various component of cost, but which are in the nature of variability, variable cost. Similarly, fixed cost two point five lakh is nothing but. aggregation of so many other cost so many other so many individual cost of fixed nature rent supervisor salary etc etc okay so now write the data first take down the data given to you fixed cost 2.5 lakhs variable cost 15 per unit selling price rupees 25 per unit don't worry about the remaining thing we'll discuss that later with these three data fixed cost in total variable cost per unit and selling price per unit we are asked to calculate break even point please all of you write down the formula for break even point what is the formula for break even point break even point is equal to total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit write down the equation first next line contribution per unit is equal to contribution per unit is equal to selling price per unit minus minus selling price per unit minus marginal cost marginal cost otherwise variable per cost unit. per unit variable cost per unit variable cost per unit so what will be the contribution per unit in this example 10 rupees how come it is 5 10 rupees 10 rupees 10 per rupees. unit contribution per unit is equal to 10 rupee per unit 10 rupees now apply the equation break even point is equal to break even point in unit is equal to Two lakh fifty thousand divided by rupees ten. Twenty five thousand units. Is equal to twenty five thousand units. Twenty five thousand units. Next break even point in value. Break even point in value. Break even point in rupees or break even point in value. Is equal to what is the equation? Fixed. Fixed, fixed cost, cost total divided by PV ratio. PV ratio. Next line, PV ratio is equal to 
contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100 10 by 25 into 100 is equal to is equal to how much 40 percent so pv ratio is equal to 40 percent next line break even point in rupees is equal to break even point in rupees is equal to 2 lakh 50 thousand divided by 0.4 40 percent means what 40 by 100 40 by 100 no that's equal to 0.4 40 percent no that is 40 percent so 40 by 100 that's equal to 0.4 so 2.5 lakhs divided by 0.4 is equal to 6 lakhs 25 thousand rupees next alternatively alternatively we can find out in another way also alternatively break even point in value is equal to break even point in value is equal to break even point in value is equal to break even point in units multiplied by break even point in units multiplied by multiplied by selling price selling price per unit selling per price unit. per unit break even point in units multiplied by selling price per unit substitute the amount in this equation and find it out How much? Six lakhs, twenty-five thousand. Okay. Same answer. Okay. So break-even point is six lakhs, twenty-five thousand rupees. Twenty-five thousand number of units. Okay. Next, in the question, they are telling you comment on the production level of twelve thousand units, fifteen thousand units, twenty thousand units. 25,000 units, 30,000 units, and 40,000 units. If the company operates in this different level of capacity, what would be their profit? We have to find it out. So, you know, the profit statement, just now I told you in the beginning, before the, uh, before the break, starting with sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution, contribution minus fixed cost is equal to Profit. That statement we do, we have no. That statement you have to prepare for all these level of production. Next, profit of profit on the different level of output. Profit on different level of output. We already found out the company is reaching the sales of six lakh twenty five thousand. The company is going to be in profit. At 625,000, the company is going to be at profit of zero. If it is not reaching the sales level of 625,000, the company is going to be in loss. That's already we decided. Now we are going to find out how much is going to be the profit, how much is going to be loss in different level of activity. Okay. So profit on different level of activity. Take the statement, particulars. One column is particulars. All other columns, one, two, three, four, five, six columns we need to take. Particulars plus six. Level of activities or level of units. Okay, first column is 12,000 units, 15,000 units, 20,000 units, 25,000 units, 30,000 units, and 40,000 units. Please, all of you take seven columns. One is for particular, and six columns are for different level of activity, particulars and level of activity. In level of activity, sub column, six columns. Okay, start with the sales in the particular sales. Sales at the rate of how much? What is the selling price? 
25 rupees. In particular column, we write it sales at the rate of rupees 25 per unit. Multiply the 25 rupees per unit with all levels of production. Say, for example, first level of production is 12,000. 12,000 into 25, how much? 3 lakh. Then write it in the amount column, 3 lakhs. Under the 12,000 units, write 3 lakhs in the name of sales. Then similarly for 15 lakhs, sorry, 15,000. 15,000 into 25. Write quickly. 15,000 into 15,000 units at the rate of 25 rupees. C equal to how much? 3 lakhs 75. Third one. 20,000 into 25. That's equal to 5 lakhs. 25 into 25, 6 lakhs 25,000, 30,000 into 25, 7 lakh 50, 25 rupees into 40,000 is equal to how much? 10 lakhs, okay? Second line minus, what should be detected now? From sales, what should we detect? From sales, what should we detect? Huh? Sorry? What we have to detect from sales now? Variable cost, right? Minus variable cost. Minus variable cost, write it in particular column, minus variable cost. At the rate of, what is the variable cost? 15 rupees per unit, at the rate of 15 per unit, at the rate of 15 per unit, at the rate of 15 per unit. Calculate the variable cost for each and every activity, 12, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. Variable cost is equal to first one, 12 into 15. How much? 1 lakh 80. Second one, 2 to 5 triple zero. Yes. Next one, 2 five zero triple zero. Is it so? Third one. Yeah, three sorry, three lakh. Three lakhs. Next one, three lakh seventy five. Next, last but one, four lakh fifty. Is it four lakh fifty or something? Six lakhs. Last but last is six lakhs. How come last is six lakhs? Forty thousand units now. Forty thousand into fifteen. Six lakhs. Okay, right. Yeah. Now you minus this from sales. What you will call that answer? If you minus variable cost from sales, that is called as contribution. Write it, contribution. Contribution. And write the answer. Minus the variable cost from the sales and write the answer. Say for example, first one it is 120 Second one, write the answer one by one for all the levels. Six levels are there. Write the contribution for all the six levels. If the company works at 12,000 units, what is the contribution? If the company works for 15,000 units, what is the contribution? Like that up to 40,000 units. Say 
calculate the contribution for all the levels of units. Okay, then minus. What do you have to minus? From contribution, what do you have to minus? And fixed cost minus fixed cost. Fixed cost is always always constant, so right? Irrespective of the level of output, you write the fixed cost. How much is the fixed cost? Two lakh fifty each. In all the cases, two lakh fifty, two lakh fifty, two lakh fifty. So if you minus two lakh fifty from the contribution, you will get. What you'll get? Profit, right? Profit, the answer also. What is the profit for first one? Loss, how much? How much loss? First one loss is? How much loss? One like 30. Second one also loss? How much loss? Hmm? Second level of activity. What is the loss? How come 78,000? You have contribution, you have fixed cost minus and tell me how much time it takes. One lakh. Third one, 50,000. Fourth one, zero. That fourth one is the break even point. Yeah. Uh, fifth one is 50,000 profit. Sixth one is 1 lakh 50,000 profit. Okay. Next, margin of safety. Margin of safety. Margin of safety start only after? Only after? Break even point. So up to break even point, you can put zero, zero. I mean, dash, dash, dash. Break even point, I mean, margin of safety, up to break even point column, you can write dash. After break even point, up to break even point column, put dash. Up to break even point column, put nil. Okay. Break even column is which column? Column number four. Okay, fifth column calculate. What is the break even? What is the margin of safety? How to calculate margin of safety? That's one thing. Another way, simple thing is actual sales minus break even sales. What is actual sales in the sixth column? Actual sales in the sixth column is? That is the value. Number of unit is? Number of units in sixth column, how much? Huh? 30,000. Why? Simple question. You are not able to recollect. 30,000. What is the break even sales? Break even sales in unit. Very nice, you are all. Huh? Break even point, we already found out what is the break even point in unit. Huh? Is it 2,50,000? Anybody from online, what is the break even point in unit? We already calculated 25,000. 25,000. 25,000. 25,000. What is the actual sales now? Now it is 30,000 units. 30,000 units. So what is the margin of safety now? 5,000 5, units. Actual sales minus break even sales. 30,000 minus 25,000 is equal to 5,000. Otherwise, what you can calculate? How do you calculate is? 
profit divided by contribution per unit in this fifth stage fifth case what is the profit profit is 50000 divided by contribution per unit what is the contribution per unit 10 rupee 10 rupees 10 rupee so 50000 by 10 is equal to 5000 that is also possible otherwise this 30 minus 25 5000 next last case margin of safety if the sales is 40000 unit margin of safety is 15, 15. now it is 15 One lakh fifty divided by ten. Otherwise, forty minus twenty-five thousand. Okay. So, what is the comment you can give? If the company operates at twenty-five thousand unit of production, the company is having neither loss nor profit. That is going to be its break-even point. And the company should definitely act more than more than what? More than how much? The company should. Produce more than more than twenty five thousand thousand unit in order to get profit. profit. If it produces thirty thousand units, it's getting a profit of fifty. If it is producing forty and selling forty thousand units, it's getting a profit of one lakh fifty thousand. One lakh fifty thousand. Look at this increase in volume of production. How much from Fifth to sixth, what's the percentage of increase? One third is increasing. One third, no. From thirty to forty, hmm? not even twenty percent. One third. Is it one third or not? From thirty, it is going to forty. So how much is increasing? How much is increasing? Ten thousand is increasing for how much? Ten thousand is the increase for how much? For how much there is an increase of ten thousand? Or from what it is increasing to ten thousand? From what? From How many units it is increasing to forty? From how many units it is increasing to forty? From thirty thousand. So what is the increase? Ten thousand is increase. For how much it is ten thousand? Okay, let me ask a question like this. What is the percentage of increase here? What is the percentage of increase there? Please calculate and tell me. What is the percentage of increase? What is the percentage of increase here? Thirty percent. Thirty percent of thirty thousand is equal to nine thousand only. No. No, I am asking thirty to forty only. But what is the percentage of increase? Thirty-three percent. Thirty percent means thirty percent of thirty thousand is how much? Thirty percent of thirty thousand is how much? Thirty percent of thirty thousand is how much? Nine thousand. Thirty plus nine is equal to only thirty plus nine is equal to only thirty-nine. But it is increased to so it is not thirty percent increase. It is more than thirty percent increase. What's the percentage of increase? How do you calculate the percentage of increase first of all? Thirty-three point three. How do you calculate the percentage of increase? How do we calculate the percentage of increase in this case? How do we calculate? Anyone, please tell me. Otherwise, we'll stop the class. Hmm? How do we calculate the percentage of increase from sixth to seventh? Please tell me. How do we sir. calculate? Yes, sir. Thirty-three point three three percent. How do we calculate the percentage? You tell me for, that. For forty thousand minus thirty thousand. Ah, is equal to ten thousand. Ten thousand divided by thirty thousand. Into. Into. Into hundred. So ten by three, one by three into hundred. That's why I'm telling you one third. Yes. Increasing. Okay. Now, 
मैथमेटिक्स will come to that later a b c d will learn first then you sentence will make please sir wait i am coming to you only but actually thought of telling that only for that only i touched this otherwise i would not touch this i want to tell you the clarity the cvp analysis cost volume profit analysis the final one i am going to conclude that i want to tell that for that only i am touching these percentages please tell me what is the percentage of increase in the profit 300 percentage how did you calculate 100 by 50 into 100 only increase is 100 only now. The difference is 100. 100 divided by 50 into 100. How much? Three times 300 percentage increase. What was the increase in sales? 33 percentage increase. Roughly 33.33 percentage increase in sales has resulted in 300 percentage of profit. Look at this increase, cost increase. What is the cost increase here? Thirty-three percentage increase in volume of production. What is the cost increase? What is the percentage of cost increase? Percentage of cost from seven to eight fifty. So one fifty divided by seven into hundred. How much? Twenty-eight point five. Calculate, sir. You have calculator. Twenty-one point four two, sir. Twenty-one point four two. Twenty-one point four. Assume twenty-two. Yeah. Approximately. An increase of thirty-three point one three. Thirty-three point three three percentage of output has resulted only in. Twenty one, twenty two percent. Twenty one, twenty two percentage of increase cost in increase. Cost. The twenty one percentage increase in cost has resulted in three times of the profit. Okay. So this is what the cost. Vol. This is volume. This is cost. This is profit. Cost, volume, profit analysis. Otherwise, you can call it as break-even point analysis, or simply break-even analysis. Okay. Any doubt in this? So the same thing has been expressed in terms of graph. Okay, look at this. This is the point at which the total revenue and the total cost intersect in one point. That point is called as break-even point. You already told in the beginning today, beginning class. You told cost is equal to revenue, income is equal to expenditure. That point is called break-even point. You told me that point is this one. This is production, volume of production or unit of production. This is amount. Okay, it represents the cost as well as the revenue. One curve is representing cost, another curve is representing revenue. Okay, this is sales. This is expenditure. Okay, sales and expenditure intersects in one particular point. That point, this point, this point is called as. Break even point in units, or this is called break even point in value. This side. Okay, from this, if you scale to this axis, here it will come six point two five. Okay, here it is twenty five thousand units. So this is how we have to plot the break even point chart. 
for us chart is not that important but you have to understand the concept any doubt in this break even point concept marginal costing okay i have sent you a file in the morning right in your whatsapp group is it there on pdf file please take that pdf file yeah unit number 12 marginal costing on small file is there this file is taken from institute of chartered accountant of india website from this we can go with some more questions can you just read and understand the first question first question what they telling you please write down the data and we will try to understand the data then we will try to find out answer for the given question it is talking about yeah one second before that there are some concepts are given to you marginal costing absorption costing direct costing different that's all okay theory okay come to the formula they are giving you so many formula right one formula i would like to tell you because we have not talked about that question number i mean point number 7 and 8 point number 7 seventh seventh formula and eighth formula if you are having two year data two year data okay last year profit and current year profit if you have we can apply this formula change in profit divided by change in sales otherwise change in contribution divided by change in sales to find to calculate the profit volume ratio profit volume ratio pv ratio here i told you direct formula one year only data we have suppose two year data we have we don't have contribution we don't have sales separately only change in profit and change in sales is there that time we can calculate pv ratio by applying this equation look at the seventh equation change in profit divided by change in sales otherwise eighth equation change in contribution divided by change in sales if you apply this equation any one of this equation you will get pv ratio okay ninth equation also you see fixed cost divided by break even sales that also will give you pv ratio okay all right now come to the question number 1 question number 1 question number 1 not in theory but in numerical section b page number 12.5 fifth page there is a question question number 1 yeah question number 1 i read it for you a company produces single product which sells for rupees 20 per unit so what is 20 selling price per unit right it selling price per unit is rupees 20 then variable cost is rupees 15 per unit so variable cost is equal to rupees 15 per unit fixed cost is 6 lakhs 30000 this is what given to us from this what we have to calculate first one point number 1 calculate sales value sales in rupee needed to earn a profit of 10 percentage on sales what is the profit they are expecting 10% on how much amount per unit selling profit on selling price per unit how much they are expecting what is the profit per unit the company is expecting what is the amount of profit that the company expects from the sale of one unit what is the value of profit that the company expects from one unit of sales what is the amount of profit they are two expecting rupees. sorry two sir rupees. two rupees two rupees how did you calculate two rupees 20 rupees the selling price 20 rupees is selling price. sorry yeah 20 rupees selling 10%. price yeah right 10% uh, 10% on margin 
20 rupees is 2 rupee right it yeah yeah profit expected is equal to profit expected per unit is equal to 10 by 100 into 20 10 by 100 10 divided by 100 into 20 that is equal to rupees 2 2 because selling price is 20 on the 10 percent is profit so 2 rupees the profit the company is expecting okay what we are going to calculate now they are asking you to calculate selling price selling value sales value needed to earn a profit of 10 percent on sales write that point number one Point number one, calculation of sales value. Calculation of sales value. We don't know how many units to be sold. If you know how many units to be sold, we can multiply that number of units with 20. You will get the answer. But that is not given the question. You have to find out. So write down the next line. Sales is equal to, you remember? In the beginning we discussed, sales is equal to Sales is equal to, how do we find out the selling price? Selling price is nothing but, forget about all this accounting. Selling price is equal to what? Fixed cost. Variable cost. Variable cost plus, plus profit. profit. Variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. All right. But instead of saying that, contribution plus profit is equal to fixed cost. Why do you confuse? Don't confuse. It's simple. Variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. Okay, you'll go with your own way only. No problem. Don't confuse. But everything is same. Same only. Fine. Write it. Sales, sales, sales is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. Yeah, sales is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. Okay, we don't know what is the sales. We are going to find out the sales only. Let sales be X. Let sales be X. Now, if sales is equal to X, variable cost, right, next line. What is the sales? We are going to find out the sales. Okay. Variable cost for one unit, if it is two rupee, how much will be the total variable cost? To produce one unit, if I'm spending two rupee as a variable cost, how do I find out the total variable cost? Number of units produced. Now we don't know the number of units produced. Number of units produced will be taken as X, write it down. Next line is equal to, is equal to, equal to, what is the variable cost given in the question? 15, so 15x plus 15x plus 6,30,000 plus 2x. What is 2x? 2 rupees the profit per unit. x is equal to number of units. Okay, that is equal to, I repeat again, 15x plus 6,30,000 plus 2x is equal to, it should be equal to total sales. Great, total sales. But total sales we don't know. But sales per unit we know. What is sales per unit? Sales per unit how much? 20 rupees. So total sales means 20 rupees into number of units. So 20x. 20x. Okay, now simplify this equation for x. Simplify this equation for x. x is equal to how much in this equation? x is equal to how much? 15x plus 6,30,000 plus 2x is equal to 20x. If you bring this x all in one side, 20x minus 17x is equal to 3x. 
2 lakh 10,000. 3x is equal to 6 lakh 30,000. So x is equal to 3 lakh 30,000 divided by 3. That's equal to 2 lakh 10,000. If you sell 2 lakh 10,000 units, you will get a profit of 10 percentage on sales. Okay, next line. Sales value is equal to sales value. Sales value is equal to. How do you find out the sales value? We found out the number of units sold. How do you find out the sales value? Amount of sales. Number of units into number uh, of units individual into selling price. Individual selling, selling price. price. Selling price per unit. Per unit. Per unit. So two lakh ten thousand units multiplied by twenty rupees. That is equal to four lakh. Sorry, forty two lakhs. Forty two lakhs. Forty two lakhs. Find out the profit. If sales is forty two lakhs, what is the profit? Sales is forty two lakhs. What is the profit? How do you find out? Sales equal to forty two lakhs minus variable cost. What's the variable cost? Fifteen rupees per unit. How many units are now? Two lakh ten thousand. So two lakh ten thousand into fifteen. Is going to be your contribution. If you minus that from the sales, that's going to be your contribution. From that, you have to minus. What do you have to minus from contribution to find out the profit? Fixed cost. Fixed cost. How much it is? Six lakh thirty thousand. So your profit is equal to four lakh twenty thousand. Four lakh twenty thousand. Is four lakh twenty thousand is equal to ten percent of sales? Check it. Is four lakh twenty is equal to ten percent of your sales? Yes, it is because forty two lakh is the sales, yes. and forty two lakh ten percent is four lakh twenty thousand. So it's correct. Next point number two. Look at the point number two in the same question. Calculate sales price per unit to to bring down. Break even point to one lakh twenty thousand units. They are telling you what to calculate. What is the what is the selling price? If break even point only is to be one lakh twenty thousand units. Next line answer. Calculation of selling price for a break even point of one lakh twenty thousand units. Calculation of break even point. Sorry, calculation of selling price. Calculation of selling price. Calculation of selling price for a break-even point of one lakh twenty thousand units. For a break-even point of one lakh twenty thousand units. Okay, so we know the formula. What is break-even point in units? Write it. Break-even point in unit is equal to what is the equation? Break-even point in unit is equal to fixed cost divided by Contribution per unit. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. We already know in the question they are telling you break-even point is going to be how much? One lakh twenty thousand units. Okay, so one lakh twenty thousand unit is equal to one lakh twenty thousand unit is equal to six lakhs thirty thousand divided by contribution per unit. Find out what is the contribution per unit cross multiplication. Contribution per unit is equal to contribution per unit will be six lakh thirty thousand divided by one lakh twenty thousand. That is equal to five rupee twenty five paisa. Okay, that is called that is equal to contribution. But we don't want contribution. What do we want? What do you have to find out in this question? Selling price, selling price. So selling price is equal to. You tell me now, selling price is equal to. We know contribution. Contribution plus. Contribution plus. Variable cost. Write it. Contribution plus variable cost. 
selling price is equal to contribution plus variable cost. Substitute the values. Contribution is 5.25. Fixed cost is? Sorry, variable cost is 15 rupees. Then selling price will be equal to 20 rupees, 25 paise per unit. Okay. The last one, they're asking you to calculate margin of safety. If profit is 60,000, next point number C, calculation of margin of safety, calculation of margin of safety. What is the equation to calculate margin of safety? If profit is there, profit divided by PV ratio. Profit divided by PV ratio. What is PV ratio we have to calculate? What is PV ratio? PV ratio is equal to? PV ratio is equal to contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. Per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. You calculate PV ratio either with the total amount or with the per unit amount. That's also okay. Both will give same answer, it's percentage. So contribution per unit is how much? 5.25 is the new contribution, but original contribution is how much? Originally the contribution is? Contribution how much? Originally. Only three data are there. How much? How much? Five rupee. So write it five rupee divided by? 5 rupee divided by 20 into 100 is equal to 5 by 20 into 100. You can apply mind and tell me how much 0.25 25 percentage. 25 percentage. Now apply this equation in the formula, apply this number in the formula. Margin of safety is equal to. What is the profit? 60,000. 60,000 divided by 0.25. That is equal to? That is equal to 2, 2 lakh 40,000. So this is how some variant of this same question will be there. Here what we studied is directly we studied all the things. In this question, one is missing, we are finding out that. Okay. Like that, you can check for the remaining questions. Check for the second question. Second one, the very next one. The very next one, you check it.
please try the second question. Cost is ninety thousand, sales is three lakh, profit is sixty thousand. If that is the case, what will be the variable cost? Before going to that first answer and second answer, please tell me what is variable cost. Second question, write down please. Fixed cost is 90,000, sales is 3 lakhs, profit is 60,000. I repeat, I'm just reading the data from question number two. Fixed cost, 90,000, sales 3 lakhs, profit 60,000. Variable cost is equal to how much? Accounts, if you are poor, I can understand. Mathematics plus minus, if you are poor, I cannot understand. Please tell me quickly how much is the variable cost? Sorry? Hmm? Madam, you tell me the number. Two lakh ten thousand, how, madam? equal to sales minus fixed cost is equal to what is the logic please somebody tell me what is the variable cost for this given data 1 lakh 50000 1 lakh 50000 yes sir please tell how you calculated sir to all all of you uh, are not understanding the concept 3 3 lakh is the sales value hmm. hello yes sir we are hearing you 3 lakh is the sales value. Okay. In that time, minus it fixed cost and okay. I minus it profit. Okay. So 1 lakh 50 is the remaining variable is cost. variable cost. Okay. Otherwise, what you can do? Fixed cost plus profit is equal to what? Fixed cost plus profit is equal to contribution. Contribution. Okay. Contribution plus variable cost should be equal to sales. If that is the case, contribution plus variable cost equal to sales means variable cost is equal to sales minus contribution. So what is contribution in this question? 60 plus 90. So 1 lakh 50 is the contribution. 1,50 is the contribution. So sales minus contribution is equal to variable cost. Sales is one, 3 lakh. Contribution is 1,50. Automatically, variable cost would be 1,50. That's also possible. Otherwise, very simple what you told. That logic is very simple. Sales minus fixed cost minus profit is equal to variable cost. Okay, that's okay. That's not a question for you. But the question for you is, how much will be the sales volume if in the next year, the company is having a loss of 30,000? Calculation of sales, if the loss is equal to 30,000, take it, point number one, answer. Calculation of sales volume, if the, if the loss is 30,000, calculate it. Calculate it. If the company suffers a loss of 30,000, what would have been the sales volume? What would be the sales volume?
anybody found out Two lakh ten thousand is the sales required to have a loss of thirty thousand rupees. Is it so? Is it not one lakh twenty thousand? How do you find out the sales? Just now you told no. Same logic. Fixed cost, but it is not given no. That and all is not given. If the company is earning a loss of ninety, sorry, thirty thousand rupees. So for this, what do you do? We have to first find out the PV ratio. What is the PV ratio here? What was the contribution? What is the contribution here in this question? Please be touch, be in touch with the uh, question and tell me the answer. Why are you forgetting? Why are you not telling the answer? What is the amount of contribution? One lakh fifty thousand, right? Okay, that is divided by sales into hundred. What is the sales? Original sales? Three lakhs. For three lakhs, contribution is one lakh fifty. Then what is the contribution ratio? PV ratio is equal to how much? What is the PV ratio? Fifty percent. Okay, one lakh fifty divided by three lakh into hundred is equal to fifty percent. Okay, next. How do we find out the sales? Ninety thousand minus thirty thousand. That is equal to contribution of that second year. So sixty thousand is the contribution of second year. So the sales contribution to sales ratio is equal to sales. We don't know, so we can't go by that way. So what we can do? Sales is equal to contribution by PV ratio. Contribution by PV ratio. What is contribution? Fifty thousand. Sorry, sixty thousand is the contribution. Sixty thousand divided by fifty percent is equal to one lakh twenty thousand. Sixty thousand is the contribution divided by PV ratio, that is point five. We just now calculated that is equal to one lakh twenty thousand. That one lakh twenty thousand is the sales if the company is having a loss of thirty thousand. Simply you can calculate one lakh twenty minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal to minus thirty thousand. Okay, next. Point number two, they are asking you to calculate margin of safety if the profit is ninety thousand. It's very simple. Ninety thousand divided by margin of safety. Margin of safety is equal to profit divided by PV ratio. So ninety thousand divided by fifty percent. Fifty percent. So one lakh eighty thousand is the answer. Likewise, there are small small questions, slight variant of the previous question. You can just work out. Answer is there. You can just compare your answer with the answer what is there in the book. Any doubt in this break-even analysis? What is break-even analysis, and what is the formula to calculate break-even point? What is the income statement of marginal costing? All these things you should remember. It's a very small chapter. Actually, it is simple. Only the basic equation is if you remember everything you can do. Simple equation is sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit. Only this is the equation. If you know this equation, you can play with any numbers by changing this. Right to left, left to right, or up down to bottom, bottom to down, like that. Okay. Any other doubt before we close today? What's the time now? Another chapter we cannot start now.
we have another two more class there totally totally six seven classes for you seven seven session ah right this is fifth one you know they are telling two more okay one more also okay two more also okay okay two more means we can little revise something you can do one more means we can just do like this and we can finish it okay next class i'll tell you something about the preparation and one chapter is left out that is cash flow statement cash flow if you have a course plan in your lms if in your syllabus you can check it that is called cash flow statement that will start in the next class and we will finish it there if it is only one class if it is two class we can start and finish it in the next coming classes okay any other doubt with regard to this particular concept or with regard to anything next 20 minutes you have to ask something what is going on and what is the understanding what you have problem anything you can tell any concept reading is important you are not reading that's a problem you have to read if you don't know the concept you have to read terminology at least you should know no terms and terms some of the words accounting terminologies yeah anybody has any doubt first assignment anybody did, did not submit somebody is messaging me sir i will i will mail you i will send somebody sent in whatsapp one assignment one by us one by our girl i don't know sent it in whatsapp whatsapp may not be proper platform to send your assignment since it was locked you were sending it in whatsapp i understand but grading is to be done only in lms if you are not submitted even i am not able to write your mark there if you are not submitting there it won't accept the mark sorry ah you did not get the grade first assignment you got the grade you sir e ग्रेडिंग इज अंडर प्रोसेस ओके okay sir after the process is over you will get your grades okay thank you sir yes okay sir thank you yeah grade is okay not a problem you get it other things any doubt sir i read this book or i read this concept i have some doubt i have worked out this question i have some doubt like that anybody no please take out some time from your busy schedule you have taken up something so you have to do something for that all your colleagues are not doing like this you want to outperform your colleagues so you have taken this so for that purpose you have to take some time also from your busy schedule and you have to spend some time for preparation okay I Question paper will share. When is the date of examination? On the date of examination, definitely will share the question paper. Without question paper, we will not ask you to write anything. Previous year's question paper, model question paper, or previous year question paper. I think that will be available in LMS. In my accounting for manager LMS, it is there. Model question. Just now I saw when I was downloading this. model question paper check it it is there okay previous years question paper you can request the office to upload because yeah model question paper i have okay and previous years question paper suppose 2021 22 batch beginning the last 
last semester like that, that we are not having access. Yes, we have the question paper at the time of examination, they'll give to value your paper that is there with us. If possible, I'll upload it. Okay. And that I have to search. They have sent me for the valuation purpose. Yeah. After you write your exam, the papers are coming to me. No, that time they will send the question also along with the paper. So that may be with me. I try uploading that in the LMS by telling the years 2021, 20 like that. Okay. MCQs. Okay. Orientation on examination is required. No, sir, it is not MCQs. Yeah. Who told MCQ? Nothing. Okay, you were asking. That's also the best option. You can suggest in the feedback. Sir, MCQ can be implemented, I mean, employed, administered for the end semester examination. We are happy. 50 questions are given. Computer itself will value. Mark will come to you. That's simple. Some universities are following, but we follow descriptive. Here it is descriptive so far. 100 marks is the examination. 100 marks. Section A, 5 mark question. Section B, 10 mark question. Section C, 15 mark question. Section C, 3 into 15, 45 marks. Section B, how many marks? 3, 3 into 10. That is section C, section B. Is there no? Section B, 10 mark question. 10 mark question. Yeah. 4. So 4 into 10 to 40. 40 into 45. 40 plus 45, 85. 3 into 15. 3 into 5, 50. So 15, 40 plus 40. 15, 40 plus 40. So that's a exam pattern. It's for all subject, I think, not only for accounts, all subject. If you feel MCQ is better, please recommend, I mean, suggest as your opinion. That if they, they taking or not taking, that's left to the university. You feel higher order MCQs, not just MCQ, higher order MCQs. To answer one MCQ, we may take some five minutes time. Like that, we can set MCQ. That's also fine. But A is A. For A answer, if you tick B, there is just like a binary only, either zero or one. But in this model, we have some advantage. If it is minus also, we can't give minus. We can give some. Anyways, only 26 letters are there in English. You will have some permutation combination and they have frame of a sentence. Definitely five mark question. If you write here and there something, you are hearing something from the class now. And you will take some effort at the last moment also. Okay, somehow you will be connecting here and there some point that will have some marks, two marks, three marks, two and a half marks, even if it is not exactly correct. But in MCQ, the problem is if A is the answer, if you type B, we can't give you 0.5, only zero, either zero or one. Okay, but some universities are following, but here we have a descriptive pattern of examination. Okay, anything else regarding the Previous classes, assignment, and exam. Sir, you have to ask office if you're not submitted the first assignment. What is the procedure? You have to ask. Why did you not submit? You were not there. Nobody was not there. Everybody is absent only. Yeah, but assignment, you can submit. There is no compulsion of attending class and submitting the assignment. You can work on your own. If you have some kind of difficulty in attending the class, you can check, you can take the help of somebody else, your friends, and you, got, you would have done it. Check with the office, what is the process? Otherwise, what they will do, you have to attend in the repeat exam. They will ask you to submit the assignment later, and you would write the exam later. You won't go with this uh, flow. That kind of trouble will come later. Okay, just check with the office. Check with Mr. Arvind. Okay, if he's saying what is the process, we follow it. Okay, anything else? I'm a little worried. You are not asking any question from the subject. 
output you are worried about process you are not worrying about process means what you have to learn you have to read you have to study okay three three two three classes before i think your class or other class they were asking so many questions i don't know which class it is but today it's boring again and again i was talking it will be boring so this concept is little easy scoring area this 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 module casting is little bit of scoring okay one journal entry please one 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 question on journal entry okay please uh, be comfortable we may take one question on journal i'm not going to tell anything only one this this only i'm telling don't take a note keep it here journal entry and marginal casting is a scoring area marginal casting is easy what the document i have given you is little moderate and above moderate what we have seen here is simple combination of these two will come so it is easy for scoring calculating break even point is very easy how to calculate two ways are there one is break even point in unit is equal to fixed cost if i say break even point immediately in your mind what should come fixed cost would come fixed cost in total divided by two things are there if you want in units divide it by contribution per unit if you want in value you divide it by pv ratio that's all remaining all is the variant of this just like your delta all those things your corona virus is the variant like that only variant only it's not separate one the same formula same thing same logic little bit variant okay finding out missing out items okay journal and then trial balance one question we can expect in trial balance you know trial balance and the theory also will be there theory okay what is trial balance what is the purpose of preparing a trial balance maybe or i can ask you to prepare a trial balance hmm? not from general entry if, if, if it is from general entry means i have to give you 20 general entries no how do i type 20 general entries i will not type i will give you the abstract of from where will prepare the general ledger i mean ledger, trial balance from ledger so ledger account balance i will give you balances of ledger accounts debtors account creditors account capital account sorry yeah yeah i'll give you the list of ledger accounts without saying debit credit so it is your job to identify which account is debit and which account is credit properly you have to make accordingly the trial balance okay normally see portions are really limited for you so normally questions will come from all the areas okay five five chapters are there so five question definitely should come from each chapter one one question there is no uh, hidden secret here everything is open secret and then one balance sheet and profit and loss account without that accounting for manager question paper should not be there no what is it preparation of capital account and preparation of balance sheet from where you will prepare these two trial balance thank you i am happy now from the 130 i am asking so my 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 way of telling is the final one i'll ask from you minus plus i'll say selling price is equal to cost plus you have to say profit up to now nobody was telling up at least thank god last minute is saving me okay so balance sheet and profit loss account should be prepared from trial balance so trial balance will be given to you you have to prepare these two that is normal it is without these questions if i am setting a question paper or somebody is also setting a question paper question paper cannot be written if this is the portion for us if without these questions without the questions from this area nobody can set the question paper that is very challenging that's what i'm telling you and one question from ratio analysis of course you are doing that for ca i mean uh, assignment 2 okay assignment 2 similar manner i will give you one balance sheet or income statement or some data i'll ask you to prepare some calculate some ratios 
ratios and I'll ask you to comment on that ratios the last class to last class you don't know that logic okay relatively it is a little easy only unless otherwise you decide to fail you will not fail cost it yeah this is in this is called uh, what you can say encouraging to tell cash it also if i say cash it you do not come you have to leave the digital on his own so it will be true if you say like something then i'll add that also okay i'll tell the next class fully tougher one only all are tougher one only definitely rational will come now see relating to cash it compared to cash it ratio is more important if you take marginal costing into a question paper then why should i take cost sheet also both are same no both are from same family if you take one then why do you take another one then you are giving more weightage of that question that that area, that area no that kind of will okay whatever is i'll tell you once again in the last class also uh -huh. as options are there yes except in section c all two sections are having options no suppose in 10 mark ratio analysis is there you can leave it in option suppose if it is there in section c also you can leave it option if you don't know you can leave it no problem ratio is easy gentlemen memorize all the formulas understand all the formulas and memorize okay write the formula take the value substitute it definitely you will get maximum say 80 percentage mark in ratio analysis even though it is wrong sometimes okay this yes, matter reference for preparation lms is minimum okay if you want little more clarity little more additional reading you can take any accounting for manager textbook any accounting for manager textbook especially by aral gupta there is a book called aral gupta otherwise there is another book called jawaharlal jawaharlal okay jawaharlal book that book you can take except for financial statement except for balance sheet and p and l account remaining all chapters you can refer from there okay because this balance sheet and financial statement and uh, p and l account are relatively new 2013 afterwards we are following this this format some of the textbook they did not update this still it is still in the t form okay so t form you are writing summarily we will give you zero i'll give you zero please those who are bcom bba please understand you are thinking that sir p and l account i i was hearing from last many years so i know what is p and l account what you will do you will write one t like this debit all expenses credit all income you compare these two and you will find out the balance if you do like that you will get zero even though you are getting correct profit or loss you have to follow the format what you have followed in the class note number 1 2 3 that format you have to follow okay or balance sheet also same format you have to follow otherwise you will get zero only one question is definitely going to come that's no secret on that so please at least remember the format it is easy actually in t form it is little difficult what should be done where we don't know but in format it is there sales from re revenue from operation plus other income is equal to total income minus expenses one by one we have cost of material consumed change in inventory employee benefit expenses depreciation finance cost other expenses like that we have oh, headings which one amortization depreciation we have lot of this minuses if you minus these are all from total revenue you will get net profit it is very simple compared to that t format okay so please go through that format and try to understand memorize the format also okay anything else before we close today anybody who is from online anybody has any more doubt no if it is no we can wind up for today and we can meet again in the next class somebody is trying to tell me i mean message me or expecting some clear cut answer or confirmation 
please don't expect a confirmation it is you to decide what should be done doubt is different from reconfirming lkg students are there no they will confirm madam 9 o'clock tomorrow 9 o'clock class is there na madam he will ask time table says 9 o'clock is the college time he will ask sir tomorrow 9 o'clock is the class there they would tell yes but here you are all equal to us sometime you are more than us also so please don't expect for reconfirmation two companies you have to take sir two companies only should take take no sir two listed company only should i take no sir two manufacturing company everything is already told in the class please if you have any doubt in this regard you discuss among yourself nothing wrong in that technically some doubt sir one formula i have told in the class cost of goods sold compared with gross profit sir i am not able to find out the cost of goods sold from this balance sheet that's a good doubt sometime not something major major at the time cost of goods sold will not be there in the p and l account gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of goods sold that's what we are teaching here we are learning here but in real life in profit and loss account no company will express what is the cost of goods sold we have sales we have other income we have all the expenses how do i find out the cost of goods sold that time it is very difficult so how do you find out that kind of doubt if you want to ask you can ask me okay we can simply minus the material consumed change in inventory material consumed change in inventory only these two if you consider from the sales remaining is called cost of goods sold okay like that we can technical doubt if you have you can contact me or you can disturb me otherwise normal this doubt like related to number of questions or number of points or what is the thing to be taken please discuss among yourself okay sometime i may not be giving you any answer for that purposefully by thinking that you should explore that point from your assignment itself i agree in the assignment 2 the description is very very less two three lines are only there but we discuss enough in the class okay please go through the recording of videos recording of audios and you can get the point okay thank you even if it is there you can call me and i'll answer okay thank you thank you so much see you in the next session